Okay, my YouTube people, the 84 iron head is having an issue with the front caliper hanging up. So I'm going to take a look and see why that is. A lot of times there's a real small hole down in the uh, master cylinder, the bottom of the master cylinder can get plugged up, especially if you have old brake fluid in there. So here we go. First, I'll take off the cover. Brake fluid looks pretty clean. It's always important not to get brake fluid on your paint because it can eat the paint. You can see I have the tank off the bike. Next thing I'm going to do is pull the caliper off of the bike and see what that looks like. It could be something as simple as the pins hanging up. It could be something as simple as the pins hanging up, not allowing the caliper to slide freely. Brake pads look to be pretty new. Now that my fingers are super dirty, I put on some gloves. Plenty of meat left on the pads. And there's what the problem is right there. This doesn't want to move. So I'm going to take that out and clean it real good. Seems like both sides were pretty gummed up. Yeah, the other side's tight too. So we'll just do that. See if the piston moves freely. Seems to. little brake clean. I used the CRC brand. Just give it a good wipe. You can see this one has a lot of grease on it or something. Dirt. Give it a quick spray. Okay, now that's nice and clean. See about up in the housing. It's got some dirt in it. Got to get that out. There's a uh, rubber O-ring here. I'll make sure to put a little lubricant on it. I'll do the same over here. It's dirty. Clean it out. Okay, that's nice and clean. Before I lube them, I'll make sure they slide free. They're free in the bore, but the O-rings in the two of them are tight. So we'll address that. So you can see I just use a C-clamp on, on this with a board so I don't mar anything. Also, you have to have the reservoir open and just give it a couple cranks see where it's at Seems to be moving pretty freely Now the pistons collapsed all the way everything looks decent here Now I'll lube up the pins This is just some grease that's made for brakes Let's take a little bit in here. You have to be careful using any lubricant that would break down the rubber O-rings. Before I install this, I'm going to clean it. A little two plus or a little brake clean. Before I reinstall the bracket, I'm just going to give it a wipe down with a little brake clean. You don't want to forget to do the inside. 
put the clip back on. Install the pad back in. Okay, that's what it looks like installed back in. Go give the caliper a little wipe down, the brake clean. Now I'll install the pad on this side. This bolt size is 5 16 head. Okay, now I'm going to install the boot. After I install the boot, I'm going to install the nut. Now install the pad, slip it over the rotor. Only snug the one side until I get the other side up snug. Torque them to 25 foot pounds. Now I'll pump the master cylinder. Now the brakes feel good. That's how you troubleshoot the brake system if caliper is hanging up, and how you do a brake job on this bike. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cost you nothing and it helps me out. Appreciate it. Now line the caliper up over the rotor. You have to install the slider and nut. You can see now it goes in real nice and easy. we will wipe off the excess grease. Now install it over the rotor.